Have you ever visited somewhere that is so beautiful that you can't quite comprehend how it could be real? Well, that's exactly how I felt when I first stepped foot in Berchtesgaden National Park in Germany. I began my journey by hopping on a train from Salzburg and the views along the way were incredible. Then I made my way to my first stop in Berchtesgaden, which is the beautiful Königsee Lake. It's 25 euro to get on a boat to get a panoramic view of the lake. I am super excited because it's been on my bucket list for literally the longest time. Let's get on the boat. The journey across the lake takes about an hour in total to complete. It's a truly peaceful experience and it's so nice to sit relax and watch the landscape change every few minutes. Halfway through the journey, the conductor stops the boat and plays a trumpet which echoes throughout the valley. About 35 minutes into the journey, there is the option to get off at Bartolama. However, I decided to stay to the very end because I want to head to another lake called Obersee. I'm heading there right now. So it literally takes a few seconds to walk to the next lake, it's really quick. It is quite busy when you first arrive, so I walked along the side, a lot more quieter, same beautiful view, and I bought myself some lunch in Little. Gonna eat it now, what a place to eat. I could honestly sit here all day. It is literally so peaceful. The reflections are amazing. Really happy I came. Continue walking along the lake because I can see a waterfall off in the distance, so I'm gonna to walk towards it. And this is where the fun begins. the other side of the lake now. It took about 15 minutes to get from the stairs to here. It doesn't actually lead to the waterfall. I can't see it from here, but it's actually further away than expected. I'm gonna try to get to it now. From the lake on the way up to the waterfall. So nice. Yeah, there's a bit of traffic stopping us from getting to the waterfall. It's like being back home in Ireland, <laughs> having cows in the way, except these ones have horns. So yeah, I don't wanna take my chances with them. I wonder if there's another way, I don't think so. A few people have turned back. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> kind of got a little bit stuck because I moved up onto like a ledge to get out of the cow's way. And yeah, I couldn't really go anywhere because I was kind of surrounded. And then a German family came up and I tried to tell them that you can't go because there's cows. And they were like, what? And I was like, moo. No. <laughs> Great that you can still communicate, but I felt like a child. But uh, power and numbers, so I walked with them and passed by. There's still one cow here, but I'm gonna go catch up. <laughs> There's the waterfall there. Look at that. I'm so glad I kept on going. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and this is what the valley is like with the waterfalls in. Oh my God, I'm literally blown away. This is so beautiful. I like it so much here that I'm gonna come back tomorrow because it is so beautiful and I wanna explore more of the national park because why not? The way back is just as beautiful as the way here. Insane. The lake is literally like glass now. Good morning, it is day two of exploring Berchtesgaden National Park. To be honest, today I have a little bit of like a rough guide. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna get up to. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with my not so planned travel day and see how easy it is to navigate the national park with the bus system. 
Well, I made it to my first stop, which is St. Sebastian's Church. When I was looking up things to do in Germany, I saw a photo of this and I was like, I need to find out where it is. So it's a bucket list moment for me. And it is so nice here. The river, the water is blue, like the clearest water ever. Like Slovenian water, if you watch the Slovenian vlogs. so happy that I made the decision to walk. It is beautiful. I'm basically walking through an amazing forest at the moment. You get to see traditional houses and they're so beautiful. And there's also food stops along the way. I just walked by a cafe there. So anyone who's thinking of doing this and it's well marked. So perfect walk if you don't want to get the bus and you want to enjoy nature a little bit longer. Okay, as I was walking, I came across this red bridge, decided to walk onto it, and there's these, it's basically in the middle of a gorge. It is so beautiful. Oh, I love when you find things unexpectedly, or you know, I wasn't even supposed to come to the National Park today, but I enjoyed it so much yesterday that I came back for day two, and this is amazing. Now the walk is kind of like a gorge. We're just coming up to the lake now and it is so beautiful along the river. I have made it to Hindersea Lake. It is really, really beautiful. It's like a deep green color and it's surrounded by the road that you get the bus on and there's different like chalets and stuff surrounded. So it's not as remote feeling as Oversea, but definitely worth a visit because it is beautiful. Also, if I was here with someone else, I'd definitely be renting one of these. It looks so fun. I'm gonna head towards the bus now because I'm gonna hop on it to head to the gorge. Throughout the day, I was using the 846 bus route. It is very efficient, always on time, and it serves all the stops that you're seeing in the video on day two. So once you get off the bus, it is a 20 minute walk to the gorge, but it's beautiful, so I don't mind. get into the gorge you need one of these coins they cost three euro and there's like a pay station as you're walking up towards it that you can pay and they only take cash so good to know I didn't know that thankfully I had cash Go in. so far I have the place to myself it's really nice Okay, this place is honestly so beautiful. I don't know if you can hear me with the water, but it is so powerful. The water is crazy. Okay, so that was definitely worth the tree or entry. It was such a beautiful location. This brings us to the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next European video. Bye!